made me major to boot. How was it? It was good fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was great to get out there and um, yeah, really enjoyed the experience. So has mum and dad cut out the front page of the West this morning? I think that's my sister's job. <laughs> <laughs> Did anything surprise you, Jackie, about the game? Was it just a bit quicker or was it something that stood out? Oh, it was definitely a bit quicker and a lot more intense and they hit harder. And But you got the blokes like Darren Glass and Bo Waters, Shannon Hearn, just helping you out all the time. So it, they made it uh, that little bit easier for me. What about the old man? He doesn't show a lot of emotion. Was he, did you sense that it meant something to him? I think so. I think when I left the house to go to the game, I could uh, see it in his face. He thought, oh, well, here we go. You know, to start a career, so. Do you feel the responsibility of being the first father and son coming through and all that sort of stuff, or you just played it pretty straight? I certainly didn't before the game, but after the game, there's all people, oh, get on your son of monkey, or <laughs> things like that, so, yeah, it took me by surprise a bit. A couple of your teammates picked out himself, I don't know if even maybe Coxie mentioned, you've got a bit of white line fever, and you're a different person on the field than you are off, is that a fair call? I think I'm a bit more relaxed in here, or uh, just in uh, having a coffee, but... No, when I get out in the field, it's uh, it means business. So, yeah. Pretty stressful being the last line sometimes, isn't it? Between yeah. You and the goals, there's only you. Yeah, especially uh, you're getting wrestles with the big boys. It's uh, get thrown around pretty easy. You get worried in that game yesterday because they did get pretty close. Uh, you were always confident that the team would. Yeah. yeah, I was always pretty confident that uh, once we got to about four goals in front. Um, that we, sh you know, we should hold on here, and you know, we we kept at it. Is it just footy? Because no doubt um, you would have taken something out of that experience yesterday in relation to your football development. If you yeah. could bottle one thing you got out of it yesterday, what would it be? Do you think? Oh well, I haven't been asked this question yet. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, I think just the you know, the greater intensity of the game, and that it probably will keep going up, uh, up and up as um, as time progresses. And yeah, I think just to harness that and, and keep learning off the boys who've been doing it for years. Was it easier or harder than you expected? It was neutral. <laughs> 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 how about from Bush, what was his feedback after the game? Um, I Yeah, I think it was alright. He's um, yeah happy with the way we went as a defensive group and I think I played my role in that in that part of the ground. Yeah, do you feel you've, you've done enough to hold your spot for, for the meantime anyway? Oh, hopefully, yeah. Um, I put my best foot forward and you know, it depends if there's any people to come back from injury or what the go is, so uh, hopefully I've done enough. You were, you were a bit of a late starter, obviously, yeah. you know, with injuries and everything else. Um, did you ever think that maybe you wouldn't make it or you're always sort of on track to be no, uh, there was probably times there when I was 18, 19 when you know, I probably didn't think I'd ever get here to, to make my AFL debut but once I got um, you know, a lot of injuries and had a real crack at a pre-season at Eastern Mantle, um, I, you know, I'd always hoped I'd get here, I wasn't never sure but yeah, I was um, just ecstatic to get here. And you always wanted to follow in the footsteps of the army? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, no. Was that a good feeling putting the jumper on the same jumper that your dad wore, etc.? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, Glassy handed me the jumper uh, in the team meeting, and yeah, it was a real you know, sense of pride that I uh, would be following in Dad's footsteps. Who wears fourteen at the club? Kobe Stevens. We'll be uh, asking him next year, mate. Oh, I'll see how we go. <laughs> <laughs> would you like to wear it though, or is it not really that important? Um, I would, but I won't be pressuring Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think he'd beat me up if I put him in a headlock. <laughs>